This is a video on how to create and use a variable in DriveWorks Solo. You can use the variables editor to create rules that you want to use in many places or just as a way to simplify rules that are getting long by breaking them down into more manageable chunks. If you are using a lot of variables, you can organise them into categories to make the structure of your project easier to understand. These can then be searched for using the search boxes above the category tree to find out what you are looking for quickly. With SolidWorks open along with the covered project in DriveWorks Solo, and with the project designer open, go to the task explorer and click on the define variables task. I'm going to create a new category by clicking on the add category button from the project designer command bar, and I'm going to call it model. Within the model category, I can now create a new variable by clicking on the add variable button, also located in the project designer command bar, and call it shelf quantity. I will create this variable to control the amount of shelves that are used within the cupboard project. Double click on the new variable to assign a rule to it. I want the result of the rule to add two shelves if the cupboard is over 600 high, otherwise just the one shelf. I will create an if statement stating that if the height return is over 600 high, then add two shelves, and if it is under 600 high, then only add one shelf. When the rule has been assigned to the variable, you will notice that under the value column, the quantity is 1, which means only one shelf will be used according to the current form control values. If you would like to use your created variable within another category, then you click, drag and release the variable over a different category. This will move it into the desired location. Now we can go into the model rules task from the task explorer, right click in the component tree and select select all, which will put a check in all of the models captured within the DriveWorks Solo project. As the cupboard project is a live working DriveWorks Solo project, which is available as a free download at www.driveworksolo.com, all of the models have already been created and the variable shelf quantity that we created before has already been used with some existing rules. To view the rules that use the variable, type in the name of the variable, DW variable shelf quantity, into the filter box above the rules list to filter the exact rules that use that variable. If we click on the rule lower shelf mount holes and click build, you will be able to see that the variable is being used within the rule itself. If you right click over the variable name, DriveWorks Solo gives you the option to edit the variable. This is a new feature within DriveWorks Solo and any changes that you make will be saved into the variable. The rule for the feature lower shelf mount holes states that if the result of the DW variable shelf quantity is 1, then delete the lower shelf mount holes. If it does not equal 1, then do not delete them. Another feature associated with variables is the ability to create a new variable directly from the rules builder. So for example, I could make all of this rule into a new variable by highlighting all of it. Select the portion of the rule I want to create a new variable from and right click anywhere in the rule editor to display the context menu. From the context menu, select extract variable to launch the extract variable dialog. Enter a name for the variable in the new variable field and then click on OK. You'll notice that the OK button on the extract variable dialog box will be disabled until a valid name has been entered. The extract variable dialog also has an option to replace in all rules. Selecting this option will replace all occurrences of the rule throughout the project. Once the new variable is created, it will appear on the bottom of the variables list and can then be dragged and dropped to the correct location. For more information, click on the help button anytime whilst using DriveWorks Solo or visit the online help file which can be found at help.driveworksolo.com.